Okay. So, I have been following a gentleman, um, Vincent, Vincent P. He is on, uh, he, I have his link on the website, on my website. He's uh, under ta uh, tarot, for tarot enthusiasts. And uh, his recent video talked about, he mentioned just a very curious uh, thing. He said, to see how you, to give verification and to see how to read the cards for yourself, consider looking into past events that you already, where you already know what happened. And then relook at this spread to see how it um, foretold or how it referred to, the, to that past event. I thought that was kind of brilliant. And um, so it's another way of learning the cards. So you put out the spread, whatever spread you want. You already know the past, but you're asking about a past event where you already know the outcome. And you throw the cards, and uh, I, I assume you ask the question as if it, you don't know the answer, but you do know the answer. And it's a way of looking at the cards to see what actually happened, how it's showing up in the cards. So I thought that was very interesting and very intriguing. And I'm going to do that now with the John Bauer tarot. So um, I have a question that I know the answer to, that I know the outcome of. And I'm going to ask the deck about it. And we'll go through this together. And I also I wanted to use this deck because I'm going to, I want to look at the, refer to the book a little bit. Because I thought the one time I looked at the book, it was, it was quite good. The question is... How will my tenant work out? I have a new tenant in my house, and I want to know how it'll work out. How will my tenant work out? I know how, she, how it worked out, so this is the question. How will my tenant work out? And I'm going to do um, uh, maybe just three cards. You know, how will my tenant work out? And I'm sh still not sure if this is um, if this is uh, still in order or not. I'll just pull three cards. How will my tenant work out? Okay. So I'm asking the questions as if I don't know the, what I happened, and I'm going to see what the tarot card said. Now, this isn't to trick the tarot. This is to look at the tarot and see how uh, different ways of, of interpreting the tarot for yourself. How will the tenant work out? Temperance. I just pulled that card. I just pulled that card. Uh, this is crazy. I, I, this happens all the time. I pull the same card all the time. Temperance is middle of the road. It's... Um, Mediation, it's uh, it's a, it's got a lot of water in it, water sign. There's a little bit of an ogre there. Looked like an ogre ans angel. It's got a little halo around it almost. So um, I think that tells me that, you know, it should work out pretty well. Even tempered. Uh, she, you know, she should be a good tenant. She had nothing, you know, she's a, you know, pay your rent on time, keep up the place. Three, the Empress. Uh, fertility. Um, caring for nature. So I have like uh, two women cards. You know, this has got the temperance. I think the temperance with the angel in it. Then we have a very nice Empress card here, which shows uh, a giving nature, a mothering nature with a little bird there. So this looks fantastic. And then number 10, the 10 is, oh, the 10 of pentacles is success. So this should work out wonderfully. I have uh, someone who's in moderation, who lives in moderation. She is a supportive person, um, helpful, um, loves nature. And a Ten of Pentacles is a, a happy family. This is a happy ogre family. Now, she was a terrible tenant, okay? 
So let's say I pull these cards when I asked, the, let's say I pulled these cards, you know, a few years ago when I got this tenant. What in these cards would lead me to think that she would not be a good tenant? That's a challenge, because all these cards, I would say, are very good. Um, there is one thing that strikes me, possibly. Here is a very, this very moder moderate, this, this picture is not defined. Um, it's, it's watery, so it's, it's, it's uh, temperance. And so he has, but a little bit of a, a little bit of a, strange thing up here. This little ogre is up here floating on top of the water. So maybe that could pretend, portend something, something a little gnarly, but I don't see it normally. I see a little heart here. I see a happy snail here. This is an ogre, but you don't see his... Oh, well, maybe that is the ogre's face, but he's, his face is, is underwater and his head is above water, and that's his hands. Oh, so this is an ogre picture. I see it now for the first time. It's an ogre in the water. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know how you feel about ogres, but um, it kind of fits this lady. She was kind of an ogre. She turned out to be, I, I think after she left, I realized I think she had some um, anger issues, some rage issues, because the place was trashed and there was no need for it to be trashed. So this is temperance, and then I finally see the ogre in it. And let's see what the temperance what they say about the temperance card in the um, in the book. Temperance, a water creature walks partially concealed by waves. A small a snail crawls at the feet, creature's feet. There is a sense of purpose, balance to the movement, meanings. Return to the water from which you came. Slow and de deliberate movement. Find your footing. So, you know, the ogre isn't a bad person, a bad guy, but I just finally saw the ogre in it. It depends how you feel about ogres. And I don't even know if they call them ogres. They call them a water creature. I guess they call them creatures. Okay. So, um, if I saw her more as this ogre creature and less as a water person, and less as a, you know, just, just water, and I looked more at the personage, I would see that it's kind of overbearing. It can be overbearing. It can be very, um, maybe stubborn. Overbearing and stubborn, she, which she was. She was overbearing and stubborn. And um, so, and it, she was hidden. I didn't know about her. I didn't know that she was like she was. I was fooled. I was tricked. But... See, so these cards are all really good, but then when I look at it from the perspective of it being a disaster with my tenant, I can now see and, and reinterpret this card as she was hiding in the water. She was hidden from me, and her true nature was one of an ogre, and a true nature of one uh, that was um, very self-absorbed. So that's interesting. So now I do take a totally different take on this this uh, this card, which is Temperance. So it's two readings for Temperance. Now I realize maybe when I see this card again, I'm going to consider the figure and not so much Temperance, what Temperance card means. So here we are now. Here she is, um, a maiden in the forest. What's not to love? The Empress, you know, loves animals, nurturing. Now, curiously enough, uh, not curious enough. She was an animal lover. She was, loved animals. She was a big, uh, I mean, uh, she really loved animals. And she loved, really loved birds. And that's, there's a bird here. The problem is she had 25 birds in the house, including chickens, including uh, African greys, uh, and everything kind of went wild. So it was a 600 square foot house with all these animals, mostly birds. And so here she could be, I think that's her. She was... Um, not a people person. Here she's kind of isolated in the forest. And uh, and she loves birds. She loves nature. And I think that 
That is probably pretty true. But underneath this was the ogre. And then we get to the ten, which is a happy family celebrating. This is he, him or her in the beginning, and this is her later with all her ogre friends, family, with all her ogre families, which, and her family is the animals. And this sort of has a, a nature feel, an animal feel. I mean, these are humans, but they could very well be lots of birds. <laughs> I don't know. But looking at this, yeah, everyone's happy. Everyone's living their life, but, you know, they're sort of unkempt, unkempt, and they're sort of, you know, a lot of people in a 600-square-feet house, it's not going to work. So now, with looking at these cards, from the perspective that it already happened, I can get a better idea of how to maybe to read the card in the future or options of how to read the card in the future cards in the future so this is a happy family but is it a family of people or a family of animals i don't know so anyways that's kind of interesting uh it's something to consider when you're when you're reading or when you're trying to figure out a um the meanings of the of the cards Let's look up Ten of Pentacles. That's, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a neat picture with all these little, whatever these people are. Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. A family reunion. Many people gather around an old man and a young child. That's these two. This seems to be a celebration. It's interesting that he says, this book says, this seems to be a celebration, meaning success and comfort surrounds you. Give back to your community. Have a solid structure in place. Well, that's, as I said, it was, this is a positive card, but now looking back on uh, my interaction with this person, I think uh, she was hidden. I didn't, I didn't realize what was underneath the water. So it's a surprise to me. There's a, there's a mystery. And that's also water is mystery. So rather than seeing it as a temperance card, it's sort of a mystery card. And then I did see her here uh, by the water with her bird. Which she loved birds. So that's, that's interesting. And then here with her family. Uh, she's with her family. But her family, she, has, she had a lot of problems with her family, with her human family. In fact, there was a lot of uh, issues with her human family. But she had a family of, of sorts. And of course, the family of source were the were her animals, and uh, which is fine to have have animals in your life and be, uh, but not in a six hundred square feet house that you don't own, that you don't own. Anyways, that was fun. You should try that. Think of a uh, an event in the past that you know the ending to. Uh, call up the cards with the questions if you were asking it. Get the layout and then see how they can be reinterpreted to fit the event that happened. And when I first saw these cards, I thought it was all wonderful, all beautiful. It was great. But then when I knew what happened, I said, okay, what did I miss here? I missed this, this one here big time. And, um, and uh, I reinterpreted this to mean family, which is family, but her family were her animals. So that was the issue. Oh, I found that really interesting. Um, the thing is, we're often asked not to, not to read the past, <laughs> But I mean, I think it's good. It's a good exercise. So it gives you different meanings of, for the cards. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.